Hello and welcome to the third chapter of the module Resisome and Exposome. In the previous chapter, we discussed risks of antimicrobial resistance as well as resistances in natural environments. Now we will focus on the exposome. As the name indicates, we are talking about exposures. Sounds a bit broad? Well, yes. The exposome is the measure of any exposure of an individual in a lifetime and how the exposures affect health. To give you an example, for us humans, exposures already start before birth, during pregnancy, such as maternal stress, particularly during the fifth and sixth months of pregnancy, has been linked to a higher risk of adverse outcomes such as preterm birth and low birth weight of the newborn. So in general, the exposome includes all human environment interactions, spanning from large-scale socioeconomic problems to microscopic elements, the microbiota. So why is it important to study exposomes? It is generally recognized that the environment has an impact on our health. One of the examples are immune-mediated diseases, which are defined as any conditions or diseases that lack a definitive cause and are characterized by common inflammatory pathways. Such diseases result from, or are triggered by, a dysregulation of the normal immune responses. Studying the causes of immune-mediated diseases is highly important since they are reported to impact a substantial and constantly increasing proportion of the world's population, which is also significantly driving up healthcare costs. Studies have shown that our own genetics only explain for approximately 30% of all autoimmune diseases, whereas the rest, 70%, are due to environmental factors. Environmental factors are now recognized to especially play a huge role in non-communicable diseases. A non-communicable disease, short NCD, is a disease that is not transmissible directly from one person to another. For instance, type 1 diabetes, celiac diseases, obesity, cancers, neurodevelopmental and neurodegenerative disorders, asthma and allergies. Yet, our ability to treat, predict the development or understand the occurrence of such diseases is highly limited. What we do know, however, is that all of them can be linked to the composition of our microbiota, especially the gut microbiota. The microbiome is now considered as a highly critical component of the exposome. Environmental microbiota, including the beneficial, neutral and pathogenic ones, play an important role in the development of our immune system, especially in early childhood. Usually during childhood, we are exposed to a multitude of environmental microbes, also including pathogens, either naturally or via vaccination. Such events can simply be seen as a training for our immune system, which will then be armed for a potentially more severe pathogen attack later in life. Studies showed that the occurrence of immune-mediated diseases are higher in populations living in urban areas than those living in rural areas. By 2050, 70% of the world's population is expected to live in cities. This population is normally less exposed to diverse environmental microbiota, which negatively impacts immune function and ultimately increase the risks of allergies and other immune-mediated diseases. Needless to say, for the majority of us, there is simply no possibility of choosing a life on the countryside. But there are some options to expose ourselves with a diverse environmental microbiota, such as improving the microbial diversity in our living environments by introducing indoor plants, which are known to not only improve air quality, but also to be a source for microbes. Eating fresh vegetables and fruits, which contain millions of microbes, is assumed to have a beneficial effect as well and spending some time outdoors, in nature or parks, will certainly contribute to a healthy microbial exposome. However, we still need to further expand our knowledge on microbial exposomes, influencing our own individual characteristics, such as genetics and physiology. But microbiota also play another key role in the context of the exposome, namely the response of our own microbiome to environmental conditions. Remember, the trillions of symbionts that live on our skin, gut and respiratory tract, the ones that build together with our own genome, the holobiont. The microbiota associated with the different body sites represent complex and also variable microbial ecosystems that respond to environmental factors by changing structure and metabolism. 
Severe alterations of the human microbiome can also result in a modified regulation of the expression of our own genome, which can lead, among others, to non-communicable diseases. Understanding the impact of environmental and lifestyle exposure on both our microbiome and our own genome can help to identify microbial metabolic markers that are associated with a specific disease. This will help us to predict disease development and progression and find new approaches for personalized treatments. So let's sum this chapter up. The exposome describes the totality of external environmental factors we are exposed to and their consequences on our health. Diseases such as autoimmune diseases are caused mainly by environmental factors. However, knowledge about how such diseases even develop and progress and how they can be cured is still limited. The microbiome is in fact considered as one of the most critical components, yet in a generally positive sense. Thorough understanding of the microbial ex exposome as well as the exposomes that come along with other processes such as urbanization, emission, pollution, biodiversity loss in general, but also the changing climate will help us to take actions in mitigating the further global prevalence of non-communicable diseases. Notably, these processes affect the environmental microbiome as well, and the microbiome in turn can be used to counteract many of the accompanied impacts on us and the planet. This we will discuss in the next and final module of this MOOC, where we will take the microbiome to the next level, the overarching level of planetary health. Thank you for your attention and see you there.